everyone. We meet again with teacher Faiza. Okay, so today we are going to learn about our next topic, chapter 5, that is population genetic. Okay, let's explore together, guys. Okay, right. So for chapter 5, population genetic is all about the study. Okay, the study. Okay, we are going to study the, the study of what? The change of allele frequency in the population. Right? So next, there are two learning outcomes for this chapter 5. The first one is you are going to explore the 5.1, okay, the, the gene pool concept, where you're going to explain what is what is a, a population genetic is, genetic gene pool, okay, allele frequency and genetic reboot itself. Okay, and then after that, the second uh, learning outcomes, you are going to learn about Hardy Weinberg law. Where you must able to state the Hardy Weinberg law. Okay, number one. Number two, you must be able okay, to explain the five assumptions of Hardy Weinberg. And last but not least, this is the application where you're able to calculate. Okay, so I'm going to apply calculation to calculate the allele and genotype frequency. Okay, next, these are nine terminologies. Okay, so in this uh, in this video, teacher would like to emphasize okay the the first okay the first terminology that is population. Okay, the second one is a species. The third one is a gene pool. Okay, allele is very, we have already discussed before this, so we just uh, emphasize on it. Okay, and then number five is the allele frequency. Same goes to genotype. Okay. Uh, previously, we have learned this uh, genotype, and then after that, next geno genotype frequency. Okay, same goes to phenotype, and number nine is the phenotype frequency. All the ticks that teacher are going to uh, explain to you, right? The terminology. Okay, let's uh, explore. All right, let's imagine. Okay, let's imagine you are a wildlife ecologist where you observe okay what would we study okay so actually when we apply population genetic we also need to understand the concept of uh, hierarchy okay so high level of organization all right so when 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 we mention about uh, organism okay we are talking about individual okay individual organism okay, organism okay right so after that when this organism breed each other okay breed each other and become a group okay so we call it a population okay and when this population okay stay together with another population where we involve two or more species okay we call it as a community okay later we discuss but in this uh, in in this chapter chapter five, okay, we are going to learn detail more, okay, about population and organism, right? So it's actually you, you understand by population. Population is a group of individuals of the same species, okay. They emphasize same species, okay, and they can interbreed and produce fertile offspring. This is a very important. Uh, point about population next okay there is a Campbell defined after that what is a species or organism okay Campbell defined okay species is a group okay of population whose member have the potential okay teacher uh, repeat again potential potential of what potential to interbreed in nature and produce fertile offspring so this is important fertile offspring so they can continue the uh, inheritance okay so population genetics actually okay uh, is the study again okay? teacher emphasize the study study of what class study of the genetic okay obviously genetic population genetic okay we are going to study the genetics variability okay this is the main thing we're going to to uh, to see okay in the pattern of chap uh, chapter five variability population okay so next so uh, another term that you need to know is the gene pool. Okay, gene pool as you okay the concept of pool. Pool mean uh, something many, right? Okay, so pool, the gene pool, the aggregate of all copies of every type of allele at all loci in every individual in the population. Okay, like in this case a butterfly. 
Okay, you can count the individual in the population. So we are counting. We are we are looking at the, all the copies of alil. Okay, that copied from from each individual. Or another way to say it, the gene pool is actually the complete set. Okay. Of genetic information, okay, in other, in a simpler way to answer, okay, the uh, uh, com the complete set of genetic information of all individual, okay, that involved in the population, right? Okay, from this gene pool, we are going to count the genetic frequency, okay, and also the allele frequency. So these are the two main things that you learn under population genetic. Okay, next. So these are the the formula that given, right? So Allele frequency is definition the proportion of a specific allele. Okay, let's say if given is a big G or a small G. Okay, so it's a big G. Okay, it's a big G, right? The frequency is P. Okay, we, we use uh, small P, and if it's small G, okay, the frequency is small Q. So how to calculate? So the number of uh, individual that having G allele. Over the total number of allele in the population, okay, this in the populate in the population in the gene pool, right? Okay, so uh, that that this teacher empat emphasize the lesson, so we can write the equation by p plus q. So what is p class? So p is, p is uh, referring to dominant allele frequency, and q referring to the recessive allele frequency, and it equal to one. Okay, this apply the concept of maths, okay, mathematics, right? So next, genotype frequency, okay, as you all can, uh, as same like allele frequency just now, the genotype frequency is the proportion of particular genotype in the population, and how you can count the number of individuals with a particular genotype over the total number of individuals in the population. Okay, so this is the formula. Okay, P squared is referring to homozygous dominant, okay? And uh, uh, okay, how do we Example is capital G, capital G or big G, G, big G. Heterozygous, big G, one big G, one small G. Okay, so the the way how you write the genotype frequency is two P Q. Eh, and homozygous recessive with Q squared. Okay, so small G, small G, and uh, the concept of maths is applied, so it's equal to one. Okay, so this is the phenotype. The okay, phenotype frequency is how the proportion of particular phenotype in the population. So, how you count phenotype frequency? Okay, this is the formula. The number of individuals with, with having that particular phenotype, okay, divided by the total number of individuals in the population. Okay, you get it, class? So, these are the two scientists, okay, the Hardy and the Weinberg. This is Hardy, okay. Hardy is a mathematician and Weinberg is a physician. Okay, these two uh, scientists, right, um, study the same thing, okay, in terms of mathematical and physician and their relationship. So, they come up with the equilibrium. So, what is the definition of the hardy weinberg law? So, the, 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 their principle state that the frequency, okay, frequency of what class? Frequency of allele, number one, and also the frequency of genotype in population will remain constant. Okay, so this is very important class A. So, uh, what apply here? Okay, what is the assumption that, that must obey the law? Okay, so number one is large population, right? So, no genetic drift. Number two is random, no sexual selection, okay, random fertilization. Okay, there are three no. What are the no? Okay, no genetic mutation, no migration, no natural selection. Okay, so this is what teacher mentioned just like no, no mutation mean like this. Okay, there is no changes, right? So what can you see the changes here, class? Okay, this frog have uh, extra one uh, eyes. Okay, so the normal is two, is also no mutation. Okay, and then if you observe this, okay, this frog from this island cannot migrate. Okay, so if migrate, they won't obey the lady uh, Hardy when both equal. So no migration, right? And then uh, selection is random. Okay, no, uh, select, uh, sorry, no, set, no set, natural selection. Okay, so after that, uh, in order to obey also this law, it must involve large population and random mating. Okay, these are the five assumption. Alright, so these are the Hardy when law. Okay, like teacher showed you now, p plus q equal to one. So let's try the simple. Uh, exercise here, okay. So this is the population of frog, okay. So as you can see, the dominant allele is a uh, dark green, okay. 
So, how many dark green they can you count class? Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, there are dark green. Okay, there are 6 frogs in my class. Okay, and then count the light green. Okay, the light green, there are 4. Okay, so 1, okay, 2, 3, Four, okay, so four frogs. Alright, so how to calculate the alil? Okay, the 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 frequency for a G with G, okay, uh, big G and small G. So we just apply. Okay, in order to get P is equal to six. Okay, six is the total number of individual that having the G alil. Divide the total number of alil in the gene pool. Okay, six over ten. Right, so you will manage to get 0 0.6. Okay, and how about Q? Q is a 4 over 10. Okay, so you will get 0 0.4. Right, so that is what uh, teacher means. Okay, right? so the G dominant allele, G recessive. So P plus Q is equal to 1 or 100%. So 60% of the allele in the population are G, and the 40% of allele in the population is a is a recessive allele so that's why the frequency of g is 0 0.6 and the frequency of small g is 0 0.4 okay for uh, genotype frequency like teacher mentioned earlier so it apply the concept of this one okay so how you can get this how you can get it so this is a random fertilizer that obey the assumption of hardy work okay so you apply in the punnett square so in the punnett square that, that that's why you can uh, get this, okay? So, uh, P squared, okay? Uh, and Q squared is the recessive, the both two recessive allele. P squared is the both dominant allele. And for 2PQ, okay, 2PQ, okay, how we get the 2PQ? 2PQ is from here. Okay, this 2PQ, eh? Okay, uh, to show the heterozy heterozygous, right? Okay, so to summarize that, okay, did you like you to have the idea of Remember class, eh? we are learning about frequency, right? So now let's look at the, uh, so as you can see, the allele frequency is this one, the genotype frequency is this one. So if teacher asks you what's the dominant frequency, the dominant phenotype frequency is a P squared plus 2PQ. Okay, because like this is a GG, capital G, with a capital G. Okay, this one automatically is a small G, G, small G, right? So, let's try work out. Okay, let's try, uh, uh, let's <coughs> try one question. Okay, so uh, consider there are 10 individuals of frog in the population. Okay, mention the question, the 4,000 have recessive phenotype. So, when teacher mentioned about recessive phenotype, automatically, it referring to small g, small g, which is Q squared. So, Q squared, the data is 4,000 in my right class. So, how to know the, the dominant? Okay, dominant is this one, is a P, P squared plus 2PQ, am I right? Okay, so it's 2P. Okay, so how you get the uh, P squared plus 2PQ? So, you minus uh, 10,000 minus with 4,000. So, you get 6,000. Okay, so for this uh, population, okay, for, for phenotype dark green, okay, uh, it shows uh, uh, 6,000. Okay, uh, whereas 4,000. Okay, so apply here. Okay, in this case, how are we going to start? Are you going to find the genotype frequency first? Or you are going to find the allele frequency? This is your, your two mission class, eh? You have to achieve this. So, which one you work first? You are going to do, do to use this equation or this equation? Okay, in this case, okay, as you all know, as concept gene pool, okay, where one gene equal to two alleles, okay, so we are going to start to work out with uh, the this equation, the the genotype frequency equation. Okay, class. So as you can see, okay, class. So Q squared Q squared equal to four thousand over one ten thousand. Okay, so you need to get zero point four, right? So remember, class, zero point four is not yet the final answer. So you have to square root. 
Okay, 0 0.4, if you have to square root, you get the Q, the, the recessive allele. Okay, the frequency of recessive allele, where you square root 0 0.4, so it's 0 0.6325. Okay, so the four decimal point. Right, then apply the formula P plus Q. So, P equal to 1 minus substitute the Q. So, you manage to get the P is 0 0.3. 675. Okay, next. The second part. Okay, the second question asks you to find the genotype frequency of what class? Genotype frequency of homozygous, which is big G, big G. Heterozygous is a with 2PQ. And heterozygous, oh, sorry, homozygous recessive is Q squared, right? So, Q squared. And heterozygous is uh, 2PQ, which is a G Okay, big G, small G. Okay, this one is a G, small G, small G, right? So, using the formula that given, okay, uh, from the uh, hardy member law, okay, so P squared just now, as you know, is a equal to homozygous dominant, okay? P squared. So, you P squared equal to, you substitute the value, so you manage to get 0 0.135, okay? This is a frequency, genotype frequency for homozygous dominant done, right? Okay, next. You uh, also uh, ask to homozygous recessive. So, Q squared equal to, you substitute the uh, value just now, 0 0.6325 squared. Okay, so you manage to get 0 0.4. Done. Okay, next. How to get the 2PQ? Okay, the heterozygous. Okay, the heterozygous means uh, uh, big G and small g. Okay, so 2 times Q, uh, sorry, 2 times P is 0 0.3675 times Q, okay, which is 0 0.635, okay, you manage to get 0 0.465. So, this is genetic frequency for heterozygous. So, that's all for now, class. Okay, so in order to get a better understanding about this, you must practice because practice makes you perfect. Okay, that, till then, see you from Teacher Faiza. Thank you. Bye.